Hey, Dr. Finn is back here. I told you this segment would have might have been the final, but it may not be so. Okay, so just hang in there. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put a vacuum on the system. I'm gonna show you how I set up my manifold gauge, my hoses. So, here you go. This here is my vacuum pump. As you can see, I put my red hose to it. So I'll be putting a vacuum all the way through the red, the high side, which is the red. So it will be sucking the air out of this yellow line. My yellow line is connected to my refrigerant can, which is on my scale, which is not yet ready for use. So what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be sucking the air out of these lines, all the way out of these lines here, sucking all the way out of the compressor through this blue line, all the way through, and also drawing all the air out of this line. So by the time I'm ready to charge, I will have dry lines, dry from any type of moisture. And this is my vacuum pump and I have it hooked up to this big old transformer here. So, I'm gonna let it rip. Okay, there you go. And she's pumping. And look at the gauge as I crack it. Side, she pulled all the way down to 30. Yep, that's what you want to see. I'm gonna let it run like this for a while about half an hour. So. And then I'm gonna shut it down and put some refrigerant in the system. So it's all the way down to 30, that's a good sign. So I'm gonna be around here for a moment. I'm gonna stop this video. So this is just a short segment. So I'm gonna show you. The vacuum pump is going, so it's drying down. And the vacuum is drying all of the moisture out of the lines. That's all a vacuum really means. It's just removing moisture from the lines because you don't want moisture to block your lines at your capillary tube. Okay? So, I'll see you next segment.